getting that first kick off into the end zone, did that kind of help you get settled down a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it, it always feels good to, to start off strong. And uh, in the games in the past, I'd always be like, I think I'd get maybe one or two reps, so I'd have to make the most out of the, the only rep I'd get. So it felt good to know that I had other ones after that, so I could be more free for that rep. I have to ask, when you saw Amir roll into to, to Greg, did it immediately pop in your head, uh oh, now I have to be ready because of the way it looked? I mean, I actually didn't see that the hit happen. I just saw the flag throw, and I was watching Greg's kick and seeing him, seeing him win it in. And then I saw Greg go down. I, I mean, after I saw the video, I felt really bad. And like Greg and me and Christian are all really good friends, so it, it really sucks to see your friend go down like that. So I just, I didn't really sink in probably till the next day, and then we were starting to get ready for Thursday practice. What have your emotions been like, say, over the last 48 hours? I think it's been like so fast that I really didn't have a chance to really let, it, let it sink in that, if, that I'm actually going to have to start and go in and play, but I've been preparing for so long and every single game kind of just visualizing while Greg kicks, so I was, hopefully whenever I got an opportunity I would be ready. And this isn't the way I wanted to get one, but I was happy that I finally got a chance to go out play. Did you want to kick a field goal today? I kind of wanted to get one out of the way, and yeah, and uh, I feel like it was a pretty good game overall, though. I mean, it wasn't perfect, and Coach Tony kind of told me, you don't have to be perfect, you just need to go out there and be consistent, so I got room to work on some things, but it felt good just kind of get out of the way and get all the nerves out and kind of get, get some more right What did Greg say to you, if anything? Uh, me and Greg have been talking all week since he kind of followed me around during warm-ups and kind of coached me through it and talked, me, talked to me and stuff and kind of kept me level-headed throughout the game. So I've been just kind of asking for advice on how, how he goes through the game and managing the uh, most of the game. What happened on the extra point? I was just kind of I kind of rushed out there and just kind of a little bit too close on my steps across. And just, just a simple thing, really, really fixable thing. I was a little frustrated. I wanted to go 5-5 five five on the first game. But at the end of the day, I felt like for a first game out there, I felt pretty good about it overall. But this is what you've been waiting on. It's what you came here for. Yeah. It feels good to, to finally get some get a chance to go out there and play. Getting the whole game in it, the, the nerves just like was like slow, less and less and less every rep. So now I feel really comfortable out there. And I'm, that, it, it's such a good feeling to go out there not worrying about anything and just being able to, to kick the ball. Is there a level of excitement about Lane Stadium? Next oh, Saturday yeah. I've been, I've been excited about that one for a while. Yeah, just I've seen some of their games on TV and it looks really, the crowd looks really exciting and uh, the whole entrance and everything looks really cool. So it should be a fun game and I'm ready to prepare as the start of this week. Have a full week to, to like visit and mentally prepared because I was, I was staying up for practice kicking a, a lot of extra reps early in the week to Travis. So I had no idea I was going to actually go in. So my legs were pretty dead on Wednesday, and I had to kind of manage that throughout the end of the week. Have you been able to work with Will a lot too? Will Sweeney? Yeah. Oh yeah, we've been we started working as soon as we kind of found out he was going to be the holder. We, me, him, and uh, just the wrestling specialist group would go out several times a week, or maybe once or twice a week, and kind of get some live reps to kind of get him comfortable out there. And he's been doing a really good job though overall. Is there anything that you you ask a holder to do other than just your job, or do you, do you like the ball placed a certain way, or? Um, pretty much I like it the same way as. Greg, just pretty much straight up and down, but like usually when we go out there, the holder will be like say some kind of keyword or some kind of phrase to keep us focused or something we need to focus on for every kick. So I think today was like a slow and smooth or something like that, just kind of relax and keep the ball clean. Did you feel slow and smooth? For the most part, yeah. <laughs> I, I felt pretty good going into it. The first, the first uh, extra point, I was a little, a little excited, so I just kind of had to calm down a little bit. But overall, it was, it was good. It was, it was a lot of fun to go out there and finally play a full game. And your brother had a tackle yeah, out there you know, today. I, I, I think that might have been the first tackle by a long snapper in three or four years. I don't I, since I've been on the team, I don't remember any of the snappers getting one on punt team. So that was really exciting for for him to do that and for us to both be able to play together on the field, just like in, back in high school. Who, who's the snapper on kicks? Uh, Actually, Pat, Pat Pitt is, snapper, right? Yeah, he's, they split it 50-50, so they're both really good, and we both love love Pat and Austin. So so there's a chance your brother could snap to you on an extra point or something? Yeah, I think so. I think that might be cool one sometime in the future, but uh, I also like Pat a lot, so whatever, whoever's out there, I'm, I appreciate them, and it's, it's, it's going to work out. Just kind of tacking, tacking back in here, kickers don't usually get a whole lot of attention in the weeks, in the days leading up to the game, so what was it kind of like coming into today with really a lot of eyes on you? Um, I tried to tune out every, every all the attention and stuff. I just I stayed away from social media and kind of just kind of just thought about my process and took care of business. I mean, I remember last Saturday, Coach Winnie's like, "Yeah, we played 70 out of 72 guys." And I was one of the two that didn't get to go in against Louisville, so and then I was waiting for my opportunity, and I didn't know I'd get to go in this many times the next game after that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I felt like I was. Um, I was pretty ready for it, and then felt good to just just get all the reps out of the way and finally feel comfortable on the field. Perfect, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks.